Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where we are done for our industrial row. I'm turning machines on and off as when we need them, so um, we are we are done, we are sorted, we have finished building everything I can think on the industrial row, with some exceptions, and also a little bit of an awkwardness. Um... Uh, the reason I have this menu open here, um, I was trying to figure out. Um, I, I thought the um, uh, the bots were. Um, I can't remember how the Iron Teeth bots were powered last episode. It just, it just. Well, I'm sure it uses fuel and that, and I couldn't remember. It. No, they're electric. They're electric, and in the science one, we have here the charging station, which I missed completely. So we need to put those in, dotted around the world, connected to power, in order to let bots have uh, power to run. There is a small problem with that, um, <laughs> and that is, um, where the hell do I put the charging stations? Because they require power. So, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is, um, when we find the center point for the town, which is kind of one of the next things I want to start doing, we're ready to do things over here, but the next point, um, I'm going to run a power cable underground and up to the town, because I want to have... Obviously, food processing and stuff happening. So I'd like to have food processing happen around the town. And if we run a cable underground through the centre of the map and up to point, we can have food processing north and south of the town. We could also make it east and west as well if we wanted to. Um, and then I could put charging stations around the town. So the bots are going to move things around. They'll be down here as well, obviously. That would, that's still going to be a thing. So so let's put a couple in. Um, so first of all, let's put one right next to the uh, um, port here. So bomb, there you go. Let's got that there. Uh, I might put one over here. Not that I can put one over here because you can't get power because these only transmit power via the centerpiece. So that's not going to work there. I could put one over here very easily. Um, we can squeeze one in here. I think we will do. I think we'll put one here. I would like to get one over here somewhere, but I can't see somewhere to put Oh, I know where to put it. Let's delete that. Let's put in a cross there and let's put in a charging station here. So we've got one there, one there, one there. I think three of them are spread out quite well, quite good at the moment, so that should be fine. Uh, and I'm going to make that a priority to build that first. So they'll do that there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Explosive-wise, I need to explode some things out here to get some spacing. So let's blow up a little bit there and a bit there. Um, I have got rid of all the wheels in here and uh, reconnected the power up because i realized this stopped here also i've stopped all these here and deleted things and stuff so all our industry is now down here and our planks are full our gears are full i haven't got the wood workshops running that's because trees planks we don't need of uh, explosives are doing rather well i think i can take the building uh yep we're doing well for explosives uh, the only problem is i had to remove the mining place um and we don't have any and we need it because uh well, we need to put in lots more uh, explosives and things. Um, no explosives. We need to fill in this lake that's here. So, uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do this. In fact, I'm going to do a one on top here. One. One on top here. No, we'll do two on top there. And we'll just put in a... Mark for demolition. Mark for demolition. Would have uh, put in a two high there. There we go, and it's up priority of those and those. And we'll uh, we could reach up to there, but we can't reach those ones on the end. So we'll put in a another stairwell. There we go. Boom. And that's the other end of this. So this channel is almost complete. I can blow this up here, and I can blow this up here because I've done something very very smart here. Very smart, smarter than your average hair drug. Blow this up here, and you'll notice the end run here is uh, only too high because I was smart with a capital O. Um, uh, this will let the water pour down and uh, not come this side of it, so it won't flood the land. Look, the water will still pour that way. See, see, we're smart. Smart smelt with an O, so he. Okay. What I need to do is um, get. The uh, 
spacing right for all the stuff down here i'm still gonna just do the standard um uh every tower at every point um for the aqueduct because it's 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 going to support a heavy weight so it looks better to do that so um i think we'll, we'll go for that there so um so let's uh let's put that in because we can so we want to go um What's the spacing for these? One, two, three, four. It is four. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do a single. So we go uh two, 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 one, two, three, four. So there. One, two, three, four. Uh, that road is already where it should be. Got some trees growing out here. Um, I missed chopping down some of the trees on the outside of here. They were out the range of them, and now they're starting to grow. They won't survive very long. So we don't have to worry about that too much because uh, obviously the ground's going to dry up there very soon. So, one, two, three, four, five, so there. This, this one's easier. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll get that put in place start building the mega aqueduct and then we can figure out where our um, distance for things are going to be so let's blow up this here and that one there pop do you want to do you want to pop i'm pushing the button thank you <laughs> so, um there Okay, uh, and then of course we want to put on three highs above that. So, do do do. Oh, a bomb. There we go. Those being built, which would be awesome. Run the road all the way down there. But we also need to get up on top to do, to do things and do stuff with it. That's fine, but we'll figure that out once we've got the basics in doing the things it's doing. So that'll be fine. Um, I do have 12 beavers doing nothing. That's because I think I've shut down a lot of the things. A lot of buildings aren't running. A lot of the, uh, the woodworking, the metal ones aren't running at the moment. Um, should probably enable at least some of those. Um, What are we doing for metal? Where are we are for metal? We are 208 metal, 960 scrap. So we're still clearing out the scrap in here. So that'd be good. Let's um let's turn on just turn all of them on. Go, on. Go, on. Go for it. Go for it. That's six beavers. Go for it. Make the metal. Make the metal. Uh and let's actually blow up this along here, shall we? So let's do the mega explosion. Oh no, no, not yet. Not yet. We can't possibly start it yet. It's not ready. It's not ready. Don't want to set your exposures off before you're ready for it. Um, an old beaver proverb. Don't set off explosives before you're ready. Yep, I'm, I'm sure that's more than just a beaver proverb, but yeah. Um, so let's uh, let's do that. Speed up. Go 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 go. Build that, and then we can explode this out here and do the things we want to do with them. Be cool. Um, you're doing that there. I want to start bot production so I can just start our um, switch our or um, hauling posts over, uh, which will give us even more things. Uh, now we've got 18 beavers sleeping rough now. Um, they've probably been sleeping rough for a very long time and I haven't noticed. So, um, let's just do that here. Um, I need to figure out where the center is going to be for our thing. So, there's one piece which puts the other one there. And then the next one's there. So that's actually going to be so exactly where these wheels are is where our our, our town is going to be. That's basically center of the map. So okay, let's um, whilst that's doing the thing over there, let's go to our crops. Let's see if I can't find the. Um, let's just bring up this menu here and be done with it. So so it is at seventy nine by forty seven. Seventy nine by forty seven is there. So get rid of that one. Okay. and then uh, we are at 47 by 47 
which is that one there. Get rid of that one. The next one will be... Seventy-nine by seventy-nine, which is there. We don't actually have access to that thing yet. And the next one will be seventy-nine by uh, forty-seven by seventy-nine. So that's um, there. We clear out that one as well. So there we go. But on. Okay. That's the points where we need to. Uh, that's our town. That's our town quadrant. So if I bring the camera up to here, so that's one corner. That's the other corner. There's another corner here, and there's one here as well. But that's our town, so we need to get rid of this here as well. We do have lots of explosives now, so um, I'm thinking we just uh, start blowing everything up and not worrying about the uh, not worrying about it too much. We just we just put explosives in everywhere we possibly can, blow up the world because uh, we have the technology. Now this is too high here, so let's go too. Not reach half these places with the beavers at the moment. We need to um, build over to it, and this is one high in here. It's too high. Okay, and run a road along this, and along like this, and along like that. Yep, and then you should be able to put all the explosives down there as well. Excellent, excellent. All right, you're still doing the explosives up here. That's fine. Have you finished these ones? You have indeed. Excellent. Okay, slow down time. And let's explodify all of these, shall we? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's do a little bit more. Let's do uh, that one. Here they come. Now, I couldn't get all these done here because the beavers couldn't actually reach them, so but, uh, that's okay. That's fine. That doesn't really affect them anything, so. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. Right. Okay, so now we have space in our storages, which is what we wanted to do. So let's go and grab some storage. So what do you want? You want explosives. So you're going to be one, two, three explosives. You are melters um, for metal, which is going to be the industrial storage. I'm going to go up by two. This, ah, right, no, wait. I can't do that in the center because I can't put a ladder in there. So, um, and there's nowhere I can change that and move it and do things. So we'll, we'll put one in the center, and that can be for scrap. These can be for metal. So yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, you're gonna get um, large warehouses. No, no, you're gonna get medium warehouses because we don't need large ones for the part. So what do we? Um, we need large ones for limbs, really. So let's make this do uh, chassis. Let's make the middle one do limbs. And let's make this one do heads. Okay, and then we'll put in two medium storages and a large storage like that. And this can be for bot chassis. This can be for bot heads. No, nope, limbs. And this can be for bot heads because we use more limbs than here. So we're using... Um, to build one, one chassis, one head, and four limbs. So that's 200, that's 1,200, that's not... It should be 800 storage for uh, being that, but... I don't normally build um, storage for the bot parts because this works out perfectly well. It takes 18 hours to make one chassis, and you need one chassis in 36 hours, and two of them means you need one chassis in 18 hours. So that works fine same for heads heads are exactly the same 18 hours and limbs are 4.5 hours uh times that by four makes 18 hours so well uh 8 12 16 yeah makes 18 hours to make one bottom so 
three of these supports two of these with you don't need any storage room you don't need any access but every time i seem to explain that uh somebody in the comments says no you should always have storage for it and i don't i'm not gonna do it because that won't but to be honest with you i don't know why it's if if you're if you're filling up a storage with chassis and the other two are not filling up then you're wasting the resources making the chassis because you're never going to use those chassis because all of these are evenly making things so if one's making more than the others it should fill up its internal storage and just stop because the excess it's making are never going to get used because the other two are lacking behind it so but we'll put storages in because we need to put storages in for it so yeah uh, let's do the same here with this here so this is going to be wood so let's do like this and then oh i need to actually set these down that would probably help uh, you are going to be explosives and explosives and explosives we don't actually need that many explosives now i'm looking at the map mind you we've got loads of stuff over here about yet so this is going to be for metal and metal uh, let's just hold tap into this here so this will be for metal will be for metal as well i don't uh so but this is going to be for um pizza planks treated planks this is going to be for normal planks this is going to be for treated planks this is going to be for treated planks i haven't got any um pine resin going on here and i can't i can't get up in there to do that um there's no way i can get up in there because i can't i can't build inside this and now I can't put a ladder inside here um unfortunately there's no um just like a ladder to go inside platforms so i can't get up there to do like a pine resin storage on top i could put a pine resin storage on top um like put a, a medium tank on top like that and then have a storage a ladder come up the side of it which we might do obviously i haven't put the ladders in for the top ones yet that's fine i just want to build the storages and things first right that's that's not a problem uh now we'll do gears which are large workshops so we'll have three large storages for these unfortunately we're gonna to get to two and then run out of space because we need to look at something so uh need to these are these are our food these are our food things here i could move these temporarily over to here um and then move them back later i suppose that's an option we could do but we're gonna need the power line running through the set which means we need to move the town which is kind of why i'm preparing for it so we'll do that that and that so we need to um like well um actually to be honest with you what i need to do um is do this we're gonna have a three wide thing all around them because that's where the uh water pockets are gonna go that's the water pockets now we can fit over top of them as long as we need one gap spare for the water to pour into them it's not a problem uh so we can do that uh that's going to be our town hopefully i can fit everything it's, it's only basically houses houses entertainment stuff goes in here it can spill out the sides that's not a problem at all so entertainment wise we definitely want a power line running through the center of it uh the the center of the map should be uh 63 and 64 so these two tiles here should be the center of the map um, in fact we're off put by where are we so we're doing 15 so 63 would be the center of the map for us that should be halfway between the two let's let's just double check that so if 63 is in the center of that um so that's 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 yep 63 and then we go up to 73 is 10 15 six, uh, 10 12, 11 12 13 14 15 16 yes okay also uh i'm wrong here uh 47 47 um yeah i'm wrong here i'm wrong i'm wrong uh crops crops what crops are they wrong button what crops are these these are canola cassava even boom and then clear out that one okay right let's double check the things now so 47 by 47 79 by 47 we should have a 79 by 79 here and then a 79 by 47 is there so yeah that's correct so that's the center okay so that is correct okay yeah, so it'd be 69 by yeah. So so 63 is technically our centerpiece. So this is where we want to run our cable through. That's 63. Um that is where this one is. Isn't it? 
No, that's a 65. So 63 is here. So I want to run the cable here underneath if I can get it down there. It could be offset slightly. It could be there. I think we are going to run it down there anyway. I think that'll be fine. So it comes off here. So let's let's delete this guy here in preparation for this. Um, and let's do an explosive line here. We'll then put in a power line underneath that so the power will transmit through this guy, through this guy, through this guy, underground and along, and that's fine. Uh, power is actually becoming a little bit weird. These power walls aren't actually running enough at the moment. We need to put more power walls in. So we could do that as well. Because, oh, not wheel of pains. Um, oh, yeah, can't drag. Put in more power wheels. In fact, do you know what? Let's just go for it. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All the way along. All the way along like that. And then we'll put them as low priority. I want to build those two. So make sure we build those two there. Um, they can reach them from here. They can get up to here. And they can reach... When they stood here, they can reach that. So they are within building range. So that's not a problem. This no longer needs to be here. That one. Okay, this is going to be the explosion line along. That'll be fine. That'll be our power line there. Yeah, so we can do that and run the power line along there at 63. And then we know that's where the power comes in. So we just put the power line in first before anything else. Or, or at least the, the tunnel for it. Oh, yeah, power line in. Get power up to buildings, you have to go one side of it. But um, previously in Timborn, you had to um, do like a um, a, a two. You, you'd have a power line run through, so you'd have your power line um, underground coming through. Um, and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to um, like remove one of these ones, put in a T junction, uh, have a, a point come up and it comes out again it uses two spaces whereas now obviously we'll still put a t-junction in but we can just do that and it powers the building directly above so you can put power on top of it the only drawback to that is that that is a dead end there's no way to run the power past it so i think what will happen is this will happen um and we'll get a couple of these in so the power can carry on and that just goes to one side of it i think that's the best way to get power up to a building that needs it and the power the building can sit on top of it and and get power obviously builders can transmit power themselves and so that's uh yeah that's gonna be the way to do things i think um we do need an excavator to get that done although that's not desperately we're not desperately desperately concerned about any of that so that's that'd be fine okay okay so let's blow up this here oh really come on come on come on um Oh, what I should do is I should um, prioritize the houses, actually. Okay. Okie dokie. So, uh, remove that. Put in an explosive there. And make it the highest priority. And we detonate those. Pop, pop. In fact, we can remove that. We can even detonate these. Uh, no, wrong button. Detonate those. Because that's only one high. So we can definitely get to that. Those the high priority. Um, also make that the high priority as well. Might as well pick up the rubble if we can. Okay. Um, so they get up there. They can build that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. We'll blow that up there. That's our aqueduct channel done. The little offshoot ones we need to uh, to figure out here and there. Um, that's not going to be a major problem. I think what I'm going to do for these ones this side is we will build an aqueduct that comes out and it will it will sit over the top of it. The hole over the top of it. And it'll have all the same designs as the other ones, even though this is a dead end here. And that'll be the same as it comes down here, because the dead end will be here. But it will lean entirely over it. It will it will cover the whole thing. So, so that's um that's the plan for it. Um I need to figure out where the thing is here. That's here. So we need to technically break that and break that and put sluices in there to allow water to come through. So uh Yeah. But that's okay. 
that's okay we can figure this out we can absolutely figure this out it's, it's coming it's coming soon coming soon the aqueduct uh drop down filtration system thing trademark um yeah it's coming soon let's uh explode some more things here and just hope and pray that no beavers are stood inside here so let's um let's let's detonate it down here To the height we want to be at awesome 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 um so we can get rid of the overhang here we don't need that anymore we still need the power coming in because of the food that's fine uh we need to put in a run oh that needs to be two and they can't get to it because yep this one's power through it at the moment so that's why that still exists there um let's detonate those and those and those and here okay and then we need to fill in this here like that but um okay <laughs> it's coming together um not only is it being built because i think i'll be able to roll off doing other things but um it is slowly coming together uh so this actually needs to have more spodiness inside it And then this one's to have two along like that. This one's to have two all over it as well. Oop. Go. Okay. Um it up to there, so we need to build something to get up to that one. That's fine. Still got plank storage and things the other side here. Food-wise, I'm just not sure. I'm just really not sure where I want to put them. I might just put them over here. We'll run the power line down and just put them over here to do it and then move them again later. Because the food I would like to have processed around the town, not actually be like, on the edge of it. So um, I was kind of hoping to get all the underground stuff done and figure things out first to, to do that. So, so let's just say, for instance, we want to go with a 1,000 beavers, which is just a, a nice number that I tend to aim for a fair bit. Um, these support eight beavers, don't they? So a thousand divided by eight. We need 125 of these buildings. Okay. Um, which is 250 tiles. That's easy. That's easy. No sweat at all. Yep. Yep. 250 tiles inside there is easy, easy. Um... Uh, because uh, um, there's only a 25 by 25, and we know this is 32 by 32. So we have space in there, even with the roads and stuff. It's going to be a very densely packed place. Um, and I think, now, the, the point of this new update of Timborn <laughs> is something I haven't even come to. There's a couple of updates. Obviously, the water's a big change, which we're playing with. This is fantastic. The vertical power lines, fantastic. But the main focus of the update actually is Wonders, the Earth Repopulator. And remember, we have to build this or Vriska will be very unhappy with us. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to repopulate the Earth with beavers everywhere around the world. So, um, that is um a fairly largish building so uh, the awkward thing as well is because this is 32 um it's not an well 64 is the middle number 63 is the middle number but that's 16 to here and 16 to here which means it's actually 14 in between them so it's an even number so um yeah but um i think we'll have we're gonna have four of these that's the plan one two three and four of them so they they cover a huge we could just put one in the center and it would cover the whole area but i want to have four of them because we can the tribute to ingenuity um could actually sit in the center and cover the entire town so we'll do that we'll put the tribute of ingenuity in the center it's smack bang in the center above the um place we're going to 
Uh, and then the Flames of Unity will be like they have four of them around there, and then the Lead Monuments will have like eight, nine of them will have whatever we'll do. We'll put them, just dot them around on top of roofs and things. So, um, so that'll be fine. So we need to use a lot of a bit of space. Most of these can be put on top of buildings, um, so it won't be a major problem. So if we run the power down the center and we put a road on it, at the 63 mark is there. But if we run a road down there, then the center would be 63, which would be there. So that's our center point of our town. If we put a tribute of ingenuity on top of that central point, we can obviously run power up to it, not a problem. That's not difficult at all to do. Um, and it will consume a little bit. And I want to I kind of put the tri tribute of ingenuity like maybe on the ground or on one high platforms. Um, and then build our town around it. So we'll build a like I build I build a quadrant and then we'll just rotate it 90 degrees, build it there, there, there. Trying to get even houses. So we need 125 houses. Divide that by four is 31 houses. If I put 32 houses in each place, um then um that gives us uh, uh hold on. Um yeah, 30, 32 um that gives us 1024 beavers so that will work so we'll, we'll figure out 32 houses in here so i'll have to figure out how that's going to work and get a design going we need to do this here we need to do this here let's do this one because it is ready to go bop uh, oh no it's not bop ah oh, damn it i've removed the thing as well now oh well i'll have to get to the top of that one at some point that's not a problem we'll get to there okay okay so let's let's leave this one here let's come back next time and let's carry on from there so that is our aqueduct at the base awesome thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>